the bond market is illustrating the fact that this is transitory. You get front end yields rising, back end yields falling. Is that the right view? Well, I think the most important thing is that investors shouldn't be complacent by watching the bond markets, meaning the bond markets are sending a very clear message. This is not a big deal, it's transitory, and not only is it transitory, but policymakers will not have to budge in response to the inflation. It will be transitory without any policymaker option. I think that's pretty unlikely, but what's really important for investors is that just because the bond markets are saying that is not a good reason to be complacent. There's still a probability that won't happen. In other words, when you look at times when inflation wasn't transitory, like the 60s and 70s, this is exactly what bond markets did. They constantly lagged the move and interest rates were constantly higher than they had expected. So investors should certainly prepare for the possibility that bond markets are wrong. How, Karen, how? Well, most investors hold more or less uh, just nominal bonds and stocks make up most of their risk. And that leaves you not very hedged to inflation. If you get higher than expected inflation outcomes, you can do things to prepare for your portfolio for that. You know, a simple example is just replacing some of your nominal bonds with inflation linked bonds that will just pay you CPI transitory or not, if it's uh, if literally CPI comes out higher than is currently discounted in the nominal bonds, you will just get paid that dollar for dollar. That's a pretty nice way. And while it can kind of hurt to buy uh, negative yielding assets, uh, you will get paid if CPI comes out any higher than expected and it's not expected to be very high. The second thing is real assets. And so lots of discussion on gold, uh, a way to benefit from inflation being more monetary, but also commodities. Exposure to commodities means exposure to the literal raw materials that go into uh, making the things that we buy uh, in a very direct way, a very kind of short-term way, and something most in investors don't have a lot of exposure to.